Snipe Squad, what is going on? Back again, it is your boy Sniper Jones Jones, and I am back with another video for you, yeah, Head Top. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video, another early review for you guys. As you can see in the thumbnail, we got another early sneaker. If you're in the early sneakers, if you're in the sneakers, period, this is the channel you need to come to. Subscribe to the channel if you are new because we're super close to 70K, but the goal is 100K before the end of the year. So thank y'all for coming through. Y'all know. Every time we come through with another banger, it just grows to the channel, man. And I appreciate each and every one of y'all sliding through. So, I mean, hit the sub button if you're new because, like I said, a lot more bangers are coming your way. Also, guys, make sure the notification bells aren't turned on because if you don't do that, you're not really aware when the next video is going to drop. So, it's kind of important to, to keep up with what's going on, man. And it definitely helps out me as well. So, if you support me, it'll definitely help. All right, so here we have it, man. The Air Jordan 4 PSG. As you can see from my crew neck, Look, this is a Seattle Supersonics crew neck. I'm not a soccer fan. I don't really know too much about soccer, so if I butch that word, please do not hit me in the comments. Joining me, bro, I don't know soccer. I'm not I'm not gonna hold y'all. I don't know soccer. But what I do know is this sneaker released October 1st for the retail price of $225. PSG is a soccer team in London, I believe. Liverpool, if I'm not mistaken. Once again, don't quote me. But they do have a lot of Jordan collaborations like the PSG 5 and others, but this PSG 4 in particular definitely have a lot of people looking at these, so I'm excited to have them in the studio early. But before we get a look, I wanted to show y'all something. Here are I have a very nice display case over from Rejuvenator and I wanted to briefly talk to you guys about this because I still get a lot of DMs from each and every last one of y'all asking me where do I get my display cases from. Now Rejuvenator does offer uh, two different sizes of the display case. It's like a smaller one and it's a bigger one. It's two different prices but even though these are a little bit more expensive than your normal sneaker case, I believe this one is the one where you'll put like that legendary shoe that you'll never wear or like those super, super important shoes with value in these type of containers because they got an actual authentic glass type feel. It got the magnetic strips on both sides. You can pull it open shut it back closed and I just feel like if you actually want to put money into your sneaker room and if you actually want to build it up the correct way this is the right way to go I mean it's super durable I mean the material is made of it looks definitely it looks elegant of course mine's a little beat up a little scratched up but I mean ain't nothing a little Windex can't fix if you guys want to check out Rejuvenator and buy any of these containers that they have over on the website I will leave a link down below but I mean when I set up the new sneaker studio I will definitely have some grails in here some shoes that I could not wait to put in here and it just look nice bro I got the Rejuvenator brand in the bottom left hand corner and like I said it definitely add a great touch to your sneaker room your bedroom or wherever you will want an actual show off sneaker to be because it's like a show off like I said before guys link down below in the description check out Rejuvenator like I said before guys link down below in the description check out Rejuvenator they do have a lot of stuff over there that you might want to get into Hi -ya! here we have the Air Jordan 4 P S G in the hand, bro. Now, what I want to say is before we even get to the video, huge shout out to the homie Sneakers on Demand because he blessed me with this pair to show y'all. And it is a size 12, man. And I appreciate it because I was definitely, I definitely had my questions about this shoe, okay? I do love the Air Jordan 4. It's one of my favorite silhouettes of all Air Jordan silhouettes. And this colorway had me intrigued from the very jump. I seen these when I was in Florida. I was in a store, I was in a sneaker store, and they had these. And I was like, yo, these not bad. And as soon as I come home, the homie hit me up, said he had a pair. So without further ado, let's get into it. Well, actually, before we get into it, y'all see that the box is a little bit different. They got like the Bordeaux type purple colorway on the outer side of the box. And it has the Paris Saint Germain logo in the middle of the box. So it's not your regular Air Jordan 4 box at all. I know a lot of y'all don't care about the box, but for my people that do, let me take care of y'all real quick. The box also has like grass on the inside. So as y'all can see, right here is grass all on the inside of the sneaker box. And of course, that goes right back to the main objective or the main collaboration with the shoe, which is a soccer team. So it does have a soccer vibe because soccer's played on grass, obviously. So it has a whole entire grass inside. That's another dope touch. As we open the paper up and grab them, here we have the Air Jordan 4 PSG. Now guys, without even saying it once or saying it twice, this shoe is fire, okay? Hey, listen, the material is super smooth, super butter, and what really I like most about it, check out that back. That back is fire. Definitely different. We even get a Nike Air, a Jordan Air, or the Jumpman Air, you get what I'm saying? We'll definitely get something like that on the back of an Air Jordan 4, but this time, they gave us something a little bit different with that PSG logo, Jumpman, the circle. I really, really love that. Other than that, I mean, the colorway itself is pretty smooth. You know what I'm saying? It's white, 
great black kind of got the bordeaux purple going on a great mix and diverse of colors even the outer sole is pretty much the same i don't really have too much complaints over this shoe it is a little feminine for me though i'm not gonna hold you i mean guys can wear this it's nothing wrong with guys wearing this shoe but it could be I understand if people think they're a little feminine because it got a lot of Bordeaux purple in it, but who cares, okay? we I wear all types of sneakers, all different colors. That's not really a big problem for me. So, I mean, it's not a deal breaker. I get it, but it's not a deal breaker. A lot of people say this shoe looks like a GS shoe, like one of those grade school or preschool type shoes that Jordan brand usually don't get bigger sizes. But I don't really look at it that way. I'm actually happy that they diversifying colorways and giving us something different because I cannot take another Bulls colorway shoe. I don't care how many times you remix it or what silhouette you put it on. I'm just getting tired of red, black, and white Air Jordans. Don't get me wrong. It's the go-to. It's the norm. I love it. But I'm just excited to see something else. So I can't really complain when they give me what I've been asking for. A lot of y'all are not happy, bro. A lot of y'all, Jordan brand will give you a brand new colorway on a brand new shoe and y'all scream up and down. You hate it. But when they give you the same shoe over and over again, you hate it. So it was really like a lose-lose with a lot of y'all, man. I can't be like that, okay? I can't. So let's dive into the Air Jordan 4 Outer Soul because this one is just like every other Jordan 4 Outer Soul, in my opinion. You got the all-black Outer Soul, and if you look at the toe box, it's white around the toe box, and it also has a little bit of that uh, Bordeaux purple on the forefront of the shoe. As we move up a little bit to the midsole, we get an all-white midsole. Above the air bubble on this Air Jordan 4, we get that Bordeaux type purple going around the entire shoe. Now, as we move a little bit higher around the toe box, we get like this very, very soft gray. And it's not leather, it's not suede, but it's more like a nubuck around the toe box, which is very, very cool. But one thing I do want to warn you guys, that will stain very, very easily. So make sure you check out your rejuvenator if you want to keep these looking good, because I guarantee you, with a few wears, it will be dirty. I I guarantee it, but that's just me talking. Moving up a little bit higher on the upper, you get an all white upper. And this leather on this upper feels amazing. Now, Air Jordan 4s probably usually always feel the same. And maybe I'm just super hyped that it's an early shoe and I'm happy to have them in hand. But these really feel better than any other Jordan 4s I've touched in a while. Now, that's that's a stretch because it has been shoes like Off-White 4s have been dropping. I don't think Off-White had leather. The Off-White 4s didn't have leather, I don't believe. I don't own a pair, so I'm just trying to go off of what I remember. But what I can say is for $225, which is more than the retail price point of $190 that usually is charged for Air Jordan 4, I can see that they put a little bit more thought in the quality of the shoe because the quality is definitely a step up from your regular Jordan release. Moving up, looking at the eyelids, once again, we got the Bordeaux purple eyelids going across the shoe. Really dope touch, man. I really believe that the Bordeaux purple eyelids definitely helps out the midsole pop a lot more. I don't think that this would have looked right if the eyelids were black. I don't think it would have looked like if the eyelids were white. Purple was definitely the color to go with. White shoelaces, I do not believe these come with extra laces because I don't see any. But even if they did, man, I don't think that they need them. I mean, the white laces pretty much do me justice. I'm not really one for swapping the laces out like that. So, I mean, you don't get no argument with me here. Air Jordan logo, flight up under the tongue. Y'all already know. And as I told you, when you head to the back, you see the PSG logo on the back of the sneaker. And you see that nice burgundy Bordeaux type purple on the back pull tab. Once again, guys, this sneaker will be releasing October 1st for the retail price of $225. I will be probably going for a pair of these myself, man. Trying to put them in the collection because I do like them. I do feel like they're pretty cool. And overall, as you can see, if you ask me, they're worth the brand. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, man. It is your boy, Sniper Jones. Make sure you comment down below your thoughts and opinions of the Air Jordan 4 PSG. Are you guys looking forward to cop this or is this going to be another pass? I guarantee they sell out because everything is selling out. So, it's really not too hard to choose. Until next time, make sure you subscribe to the channel. My Instagram and Twitter is linked down below. Make sure you guys check that out. And then before I leave, you know I have to say, everybody want to be famous, but we're really putting in that work though. Snipe Squad, I love y'all. Dream big.